Hi viewers, welcome to our second Spain video. In this episode, we visit the Picos de Europa, we go shopping, we check the water temperature of the Atlantic, we fly the drone over some stunning coastline. We are Nikki and Gert, and we are traveling Europe in our van, Nigel. We had a big breakfast and we are now headed to, uh, what was the name? Parque Nacional Los Picos de er Europe. Of Europa. <laughs> uh, and we are going to go for a nice hike. Uh, it looks very pretty, so I'm very excited to see it. So we are taking you with us and showing you around. starting point of our hike. Extremely pretty scenery and it's amazing how you can drive one hour and a half from the magnificent rough coast of the Atlantic Ocean to beautiful, mountain. beautiful mountains all size. We even saw some snow on the highest mountain tops. To the little uh, refuge, refugia, little camp ping thingy. Here is an old mine. We found some water here, and I went to take a look in the hut. You can sleep there and buy some drinks if you want. It's like rush hour now. hiking for three hours now. We took a wrong turn and now we're doing the big route. It started raining a little bit. The sun is shining at the same time. Kind of refreshing. I think we still need to go 
one kilometer. We almost made it. Just a hundred meters. That was a long hike. After our hike, we uh, drove the van down to the first village, Sotres, uh, because we weren't sure if you were allowed to camp um, up there. I think officially not, but according to the reviews, you sometimes get away with uh, staying one night. But anyway, it was getting cloudy up there, and um, this little village looks uh, looks pretty. There's some bars and restaurants, and I think we've uh, burnt ourselves a cold one. So we're gonna go to the village and uh, try to find some beer. So we're driving up the mountain. From the mountains back to the coast, and it seems we have found some kind of surfer paradise. A lot of surfer activity. Hey, if you want to surf. What's going on, Han? There is no sun. No. no. in Ribadeo. Uh, we saw some ruins when we drove over the highway bridge over there and we decided to stop here. And it's pretty amazing. It's very nice. Upping time. First time in Eroski. We don't know, it's, we've always been to Mercadona. They also have the basic wine and uh, the, the small things for the children or something. It's more like a normal supermarket, not anything to report. I wanna go swim too! Okay honey, we go swim too. French couple yesterday who gave us some some tips about uh, where to go in Galicia and um, yeah basically follow the coastline. Um, the guy told us um, where the beautiful places are and what places are not that pretty that we could avoid in order to yeah save some time. And guess so we are at a beautiful spot right now too. Show him honey. So basically the entire coast here in Galicia is rocks um, and uh, some uh, sand beaches. So every few miles you have some uh, sand beaches 
yeah, always pretty can. because they're really secluded into the into the rocks. Another stop because there is a lighthouse and I need to see it. Of course he needs to see it. He likes sand, he likes beaches, he loves lighthouses. Let's go. Okay, so we are going to Cova da Conchella. And what does it mean? A uh, cave of the girl mm, or the maiden. Interesting. It's a really small cave. Like. Wow, so hot. There was a cave where we were standing. Where are we going? What? <laughs> okay, so we are going to... <laughs> uh, the cave of the lady. Or cave of the girl. Cave... Just let me check. Doo -doo -doo. 